Oh, well, it spit me right back out. That's just beautiful. Hey everyone, welcome to Star Wars Dark Forces! In this incarnation, Dark XL, a quote-unquote source port that sort of modernizes it, makes it a little easier to use. People have pointed out, which I already knew, that the Star Wars Doom mod that I did used Dark Forces assets. I was already aware of Dark Forces. I just never played it until now. So yeah, better skip through that just in case. Don't want to take any chances here. Okay, obviously my name is Metroid Junkie, that way nobody else can take, can claim that this is their video, not that they ever could to begin with. Confidential message from Senator Mon Mothma. The Rebellion is counting on the completion of this mission, Commander Katarn. I hope success is on your side. The Death Star plans are locked away in an Imperial Star Base on the planet Dinuta, where they await transport to Dar Lord Vader. Very little is known about the layout, layout of the base itself, so I'm afraid you'll have to act as your own reconnaissance. Once you have the plans, get out immediately. Operation Skyhook will deliver the plans to Princess Leia on the consular ship Tantaniv... Tantiv 4. She will then continue the mission. Find a retreat. Oh, so it's almost like this was a thing before Rogue One. It's almost like Rogue One tried to retcon this. And another one of its sins. Headlight. That's weird. Are there any configurations for saving? No. You can't even save. Well, you know, that's fine. Guess it's not gonna be that easy, is it? Hey, buddy! I sound clips, buddy. Gotta love sneezing fits. Anyway, isn't tight. It's myself. Oh look, it's stormtroopers. Your aim is way too accurate for a stormtrooper. I'm kidding. I know stormtroopers actually have good accuracy. It's just a meme at this point to say they have bad accuracy, just because in the first film, they were ordered by Vader to basically pretend to fire badly. That way the Rebels could get away and, you know, um, lead them to their secret base. So yeah, for people who are still confused about that, death Stormtroopers don't actually have bad aim. In case any of you didn't know that already. It's just that Vader forced... Vader ordered them to basically let the rebels go. So they were probably missing on purpose, I would say. Then again, it's been made such a meme that maybe it's become true. I don't know. Hey, buddy. Thanks, friend. Oh, boy. Okay, that works. At least I'm sort of in cover. I'm not just out in the open to get shot. Shut up your face. You there, stop where you are. Shut up. You there, shut up. How about I continue moving and you stop? Here you go, buddy. Man, if anyone has bad aim, it's me. I shouldn't say anything. Right, I can turn the headlight on. Good thing I got a headlight! <laughs> Which conveniently is the same button as the quick save button. Isn't that funny? Okay, so that's how I get to a map. What in the world? Okay, there's a wireframe mode. That's cool! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm about to say. Look like a game is... This is not the kind of game for me to accidentally make the game crash. That would really suck. Ah, it's also tab. I don't have to press F1. Tab is just a lot easier. That's pretty much the universal understanding of map for me. For in every game I've played so far. Okay. Well, I think that's it for the stormtroopers. I don't think they're gonna bother anyone anytime soon. Unless there's some I missed, but you know, it's probably not too important. And yet, I'm still gonna do it anyway, because why the hell not? What the? Apparently there's a way to get up in there. I wasn't aware of this. Is there a secret area I'm not aware of? 
What the? Hmm. Weird. Very weird, to say the least. Oh. Look at that. There's some stairs that I didn't see before. That's cool. Yeah, come on, there we go. Revive, huh? I guess that revives you if you die. It's like a fairy from The Legend of Zelda. And yes, I relate things to games like Zelda because, hey, if it's so popular that I've... that I'm more likely to know about it, and you guys are more likely to have known about it. It's more relatable. Rather than if I said something obscure. Okay, is there any point to this, or is this pretty much just a side tour? Because right now it's just looking like a side tour. I know my my mission is to get the the plans, but I don't even know where the plans are. It's kind of odd. Oddish. Huh? What do you know? Surrender immediately. How about you give up your life immediately to the glorious rebellion? Okay, I probably don't need the headline on anymore. What the? Oh, I'm about to say. There we go. What in the world is that? What? It? Oh, it's a robot. It's a floor droid. I wasn't sure what that was until it started making beeping noises, and then I realized. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I wonder what engine this is based off of. Because right now, I would guess the build engine. Just because. It seems like that would make mo the most sense. Although I'm not entirely sure on that. This source port seems to also have support for blood somehow, or at least it was on the list. It looked like it was on the list. So if I had to guess, this is based off the build engine. You know, Duke 3D, Shadow Warrior, Blood, Redneck Rampage, all that good stuff. So that would be, that would be pretty cool. I mean, I don't think anyone's made a sci-fi kick off that, unless you count Duke 3D's episode 2, but Duke 3D's more action movie in general, not necessarily sci-fi. too easy. Now to get to my ship. Yeah, I know, right? It's almost like there's no resistance whatsoever. Maybe that's why I recall the resistance. We're the only ones able to actually put up a resistance. I'm so glad this gives me mouse aim, too. So much, it feels so much better now. Although I think, I think I noticed that there was some kind of mouse aim in the original. The problem is it has that weird doom quirkness to it, where if you use it, then it also causes you to move forward, which is weird. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I can't explain it. Oh, okay. That's that's a pretty cool ship. It looks looks like a pretty nice model. Next mission. Kyle Next mission, delivers Chief. the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. Meanwhile, at the League of Evil... The Emperor has approved your test demonstration, General Mock. Thank you, Lord Vader. Why would he be what breathing I while he's talking? today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's war will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. Seriously, they should make the sound bite of him breathing stop when he's talking, because otherwise it gets a little distracting when he's talking while breathing at the same time. Have you ever tried talking while breathing in? It sounds a little bit awkward. Well, I probably shouldn't have done that, but you get the idea. This is what it sounds like when you try to talk while inhaling. I really hope the game didn't crash. It's not doing anything. This is weird. Okay. Time to start randomly hitting buttons until something works. I hope. What the? Nothing's happening. Hold up. Let me check. Well, it doesn't say it's not responding, so... I'm not really sure what's going on here. I don't know what to believe. 
I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'll find out. Hey, tight. Okay, thankfully, it did actually save this much, so I could just skip past that. So I'm pretty sure there's nothing left to it. It's good to see you, Kyle. Good job on Operation Skyhook. The Rebels were very impressed. Now it's back to mission hopping, just like the old days. Rebel Command has made a brief reconnaissance of the area, and it's swarming with Imperial activity. The power is still down in the city, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. You'll need to find the main hydroelectric power generator and get it back online. The Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new Dark Trooper we've been hearing about through the Krixmadeen. His contacts inside the Empire will help us follow up on anything you may pick up. Good hunting, Kyle. Find a restart hydroelectric power generator, find some clue to the Dark Trooper, return to the landing area. Cool. I'll just play on medium again. Because why not? Ah. So this is where it starts, and this is where it shall end. Ah, I like that with the skybox. That's a nice touch. Actually, looks like you're looking up for it. Although, it looks a little artificial. It doesn't look like you're actually looking up and then there's actual, actually a 3D thing. It looks like it just scrolls. It, it maps it's scrolling to when you move up and down the look. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but you can tell it's artificial. Just saying. Also, it, I think it has that weird warping thing going on. It's not hard. I don't, I'm not sure if it's specifically a hardware acceleration, but it looks like it has that warp like you would find in software acceleration. You know, software versions of the build engine, I mean. You there, stop where you are. Or just... Or just software of these 2.5D engines in general, because I do know that Z-Doom has the same quirk. So, that doesn't necessarily mean it's build. Although, with everything else, I have to assume it's build. Especially with the little drones that have horizontally moving sectors associated with them. Unless that's a model. It could be a model. Here you go, buddy. Or what? You'll hit me with your super impressive gun? I think not! You fool! Okay, this is weird. This goes in a circle. I don't want to walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in... Thankfully, it's not walk around in circles, walk around in circles, it's actually... A way forward. Probably just use this. Taking advantage of the darkness, huh? Let's fire blindly into the dark! No, too risky. It could hit a maid man. Okay, so clearly that door is not openable. At least not at current. It has a yellow line, which means it might require a key. Okay, what the hell was that? Oh, just stormtroopers at my feet. Isn't that just lovely? Well, that was great. Huh. Interesting. You actually get lives here. That's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. They were still preventing me from coming down. They did a lot of damage to me. That's, that's a little messed up, isn't it? Said blasters to kill. Maximum kill. Have you ever seen a phaser set to maximum kill? I think that actually vaporizes someone's bones. So yeah, you don't want to screw with that. You don't want to screw with a phaser set to maximum. Obviously that's Star Trek and this is Star Wars, but eh, same difference, right? It's lasers. And apparently they can set them to maximum. So I can't help but be reminded of that. I'm assuming that Dark Troopers are going to become an enemy in the future. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Okay, that's cool. You're not authorized in this area. You're not authorized to live. Let me take care of that for you. What was that? Looked like a guy wearing armor of some kind. But I'm not sure what exactly. Oh well. Oh, hey, buddy! More stormtroopers, huh? <laughs> oh, you fool! I'm clearly far beyond a stormtrooper. It would take at least 50 stormtroopers to defeat me. And then an army of 50 stormtroopers immediately comes on the next court. Did I say 50? I meant 
50 times 5. And then 250 come out. Oh, my bad. I meant 50 to the 5th power. Surrender immediately. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the time to count that. To multiply that, I mean. You guys can if you want. Hey, buddy. Good to see ya, buddy. Nicely done. That went by pretty well, didn't it? What's this? Oh, decoration. I see. That's cool, I guess. This music, this music reminds me of some of the music that you find in Duke 3D, too. Or, you know, the Episode 2 levels. Maybe that's because it was inspired by Star, Star Wars, who knows? That's a distinct possibility, isn't it? Apparently I have infrared goggles. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, right, okay. Whoops. That was my bad. I'm gonna have to find a way out of this water. Before I die. Dying would not be very fun. Well, if this wasn't the build engine, this would this would make even more sense, because the build engine does have support for water surfaces. It even has support for underwater. You're gonna shoot me when I'm literally playing the role of a sitting duck. Yeah, you guys are so, so brave. If you had any honor, you'd let me get out of the water first. But you aren't. You're a rat. So you know what? You're gonna die like a rat. A rat drowning in a sewer. How do I get out of this freaking water? There's gotta be a way, right? I cannot find a way, Captain. Maybe I need to find the Queen. Maybe she will know the way. Do you know the way? Sorry. I apologize for using such a dead meme. I should use more relevant, relevant memes than that. Ah, finally. That is the way. Now that I'm out of the water and onto my element, you're even more screwed than you were before. Which really isn't saying much. But hey, 25% more screwed is still pretty damn screwed. Well now, what do we have here? Now I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Done it. Hmm, shield units. I've always wanted some shielding. Well, some more anyway. <laughs> nice use of texturing too. I like how some of them are cracked. It really gives personality to it where there would normally not be any. Because if it was just the pristine ones, it wouldn't look as nice. You know? What the? Oh, okay. What's happening? What's going on here? What's going on here, buddy? Ah. It was moving it for me. Surrender your plans to me! Or I'll kill you all. You guys have families, don't you? Be a shame if they have to see you in a body bag. So why don't you just give up? I'm sure your families would like to see you alive. Not dead. Chasing after a hopeless purpose. I'm sure the the, re the Empire likes to think that I'm the one chasing after a helpless purpose, but they're the ones dying like flies, so... <laughs> Only one of me has died so far, while well, I've killed dozens of them. You punch that into a calculator, it's not smelling good news for the Empire right now. Then again, it's like most first-person shooters, isn't it? Just one guy versus an army. The army never stood a chance. Take that, you prick. Hey, buddy! That'd be interesting to have a game where you're just as vulnerable as the enemy. Well, so basically an, an online multiplayer shooter. Yeah, but in first person. With a story to it. 
mean, it's too bad. It's too bad AI hasn't progressed to the point where it could legitimately take over for human players. Because can you imagine if you just if you were just as vulnerable as the enemy soldier, but then you had a squadron of AI soldiers who are just as smart as you? I mean, not as smart as you, but you know they could be as tactically smart as you. So that you come to rely on them a little bit, you know, just like in real life. Hey, buddy. Maybe that kind of thing would work better for an RTS or something, considering it involves a lot of soldiers. Yeah, maybe an RTS. Maybe not a first-person shooter. Hey, buddy. Was that supposed to be a dark stormtrooper? I mean, he's wearing black, but I guess that doesn't prove anything, does it? More energy units. Isn't that nice? Is that all you got? Go ahead, Kyle. Looks like I found something that can help us out. Get back to the landing pad and I'll meet you there. Looks like I finished my mission. Oh look, you can turn the goggles on and off. Isn't that nice? Is there a way to check your mission status? Cause that would be nice right now. Nah, yeah, forget it. Probably not worth it. I already know I got the mission pretty much done. All I gotta do is go back to the landing site and I'm good to go. And maybe on the way I can admire my handiwork. Mmm, that's some good handiwork right there. The way the sprite is orientated almost reminds me of the Wolfenstein 3D guards. Then again, there's probably only so many ways you can position a sprite and have it look decent. Someone shooting at me? Ah, thank you for announcing your presence. Here, I was about to go through the level without killing you dead. Thanks, buddy. You just proved that you're an idiot. And you just fought a hopeless battle. I hope you realize that. I hope you reflect on that. Your stupid mistakes. I was gonna leave you alive. But you just had to announce your presence, didn't you? Sucks for you! Then again, I guess for all you know, I could have been nearly dead. Well, too bad for you, you guessed wrong. You put your. You bet on the wrong horse, pal. Where the hell is the entrance? I don't even. I don't even remember. Maybe I should have been keeping tabs on it. Yeah, this looks like a good spot, right? This is the outdoors. Nah. It's probably this way? Possibly? I think. I'm not sure. Actually, wait, no. That way is the way forward, so I should have to go backwards to get back to the entrance. Huh. Okay, now this just keeps proving over and over again that this is, in fact, the build engine. Because the build engine does have sectors over sectors, if you obscure it, which this does. I'll have to look into that after I'm done, just to confirm whether or not I'm right. But all signs point to this being the build engine. Why did I do that? Well, I guess just for those energy units. You know me, I'm a, I'm a sucker for energy units. It's not like that. I, not like I'm just an idiot and I th threw myself over. Ooh, an extra life. That's yeah, that's handy considering I died earlier. How nice of them to give me back my life. So that's where they were keeping it. Neck, 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 neck. Well, that's two missions down. However many to go. There we go. Next mission. That thing you found was a weapon of some sort, too large for a human being to use. Most likely it's a prototype weapon for the, for the Dark Trooper. I found the symbol MR on the barrel, the signature of an infamous weapon specialist named Ro Moff Rebus, a real character known for his paranoia and extreme loyalty to the Empire. He may be our lead to the Dark Trooper. Rebus was, has hidden himself somewhere deep within the sewage system under the city of Anawat. He has engineered an elaborate series of drain gates, which is designed to thwart any intruders from discovering the route to his lab. First, activate these switches, then your search for Rebus may begin. Beware, it is likely that Rebus has surrounded himself with guard droids, and the largely unexplored sewer maze may have other, hold other dangers as well. Remember, uh, you, we need both of you back alive. I'll have the deca decontamination shower warmed up and ready. Find the Imperial Weapons Engineer Moff Rebus. You got it.
Great, now this is literally in the sewer. The only unfortunate thing about not being able to save is that there's no way I'm gonna finish this in five minutes, so... Oh, I see. Combat droids, huh? Well, sucks for you, I got weapons! Weapons of mass destruction. I'm kidding. That was a joke. Well, technically these are weapons of mass destruction. If you think about it. Think about it. Ugh. The sewer. I love... And it's interesting how they're not going with green. They're not trying to make it sort of soften, softening the blow. They're, they're straight up going with brown. Yeah, you know what you're getting into. This, this clearly was not meant for too young of an audience. Possibly. Or they just didn't care. Because mo most sewers that are depicted are green. Mostly for the sanity of the people playing or watching or whatever. But this is going hardcore with it. Hey, buddy. How's it going, buddy? It's time for you to die. Dine on my power. Well, that was fun. I even found an extra life. Isn't that nice? I could use one one of those. I love his jumping sound. It's like, heh, heh, huh, huh. Oh, okay. What did that do? What does that actually do, anyway? Does that open specific doors? Ugh. Disgusting. I have to actually go into it. At least it doesn't damage me, but even so. How sick. And unnecessary. Ah, okay. Cool. I see there are monsters in the sewer. Wait a minute, that's one crappy monster, if I do say so myself. Anyone else being reminded of Strife right now? I mean, I'm having to fight robots in the sewers. Oh crap, they're about to kill me. Or at least that one was about to. Not good. Not cool. And these ones are about to also. Not cool. There you go. Take that, you prick. Yeah, not feeling so hot now, are you? Darn. Drats, though. I wonder if this game just uses checkpoints. I mean, that kind of makes sense, considering when I died, I ended up somewhere close. Yeah, see? It's like this. It's weird. Well, I guess I gotta go forward. Don't know where else to go, literally. Oh. Right. My progress is maintained. It's because it's a life. It's not like Wolfenstein, where you lose a life and then you have to go back to the beginning of the, beginning of the level. Your progress within the level is still maintained. Which is nice. Oh boy. Here you go, buddy. Oh crud. I see. What's this? Okay! Peculiar. Can't wait to see where this sends me. Probably out into the ocean. Ocean man! That, I would assume that's the ultimate destination of this. I'm being sterilized, of course. As much as possible. I hope I don't end up in a sterilizing area where I just get burned to death. That'd suck. Oh, well, it spit me right back out. That's just beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? That's just freaking beautiful right there. Welp, that clearly was not where I needed to go. At least not right now. Unfortunately, I am pretty much all out of time here, so I'm going to have to continue this in the next video. Although it is proving rather interesting so far. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to say, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the crap that I, this has turned into. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. 
Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. See ya. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.